Today I'd like to share a little bit about a kind of calligraphy that incorporates mind and body and spirit, and that is Zen calligraphy. So the Zen belief is that whatever we do with our hands, we do with our heart. Whatever we touch with our hands, we touch with our heart. And this is a Japanese brush, it's called a fude. It's made with an animal hair. And it's a, it's a very uh, strange way for, of writing for most Westerners. Today we're used to using keyboards, we're used to using pens or pencils. But those things, while they are excellent for ways of communicating, there's a way to, to communicate also that also has us develop our, our heart and our mind. And this is unique to this, this particular instrument. With a keyboard, we, it's a very hard kind of instrument. So is a pen or a pencil. But the brush is soft and flexible. And just as the, what we use will have an effect on our mind, so too with, with this particular brush. So you can see, when I put it down on the paper, it's soft, it's soft, and it can turn, it can twist. This is something that we can't do with, with a keyboard, or with, so I got a, it's an image of a dragon. We can't do that very easily with a pen or pencil or a keyboard. Whatever we touch goes from the hand, from a direct line to the heart. And so as we work with the brush, we're working directly with our mind. There's a saying that uh, Zen Master Dogen brought back with him from China saying, uh, when he was asked, what did he learn? He said, Nunanshin, which means soft and flexible mind. And that's what the goal of our practice, of Zen practice is, is to develop that soft and flexible mind. There's a story of a, a Zen master in ancient China that was lived in a particular village, and in this village was a very wealthy man, and he was quite stingy with his wealth. And the people were getting upset with him because he never gave anything of what he had away to the people. And so they told this to the Zen master, and the Zen master wanted to speak with this stingy man. So he went to the man and said to him, what if my hand was always like this all of the time? What would you call it? And the Zen master said, or the, the wealthy man said, I would call it deformed. And the Zen master said, and what if my hand was like this all of the time, always open? And the wealthy man said, equally, I would call it deformed. So the Zen master said, in the same way, we, there's times when we need to close our hand and there's times when we need to open it up. And if you re remember that, then you will give when it's appropriate and you will hold back when it's appropriate. And this is what we're learning in this art of Zen calligraphy. We're learning how to give and how to hold back. And we can learn that from the brush because when we put the brush down, there's a pressure that we're using. And again, what we're doing here on the paper is a reflection of what we do inside in our mind. And that's really what this practice is about. We're touching the heart, the mind. So pressing down at a certain pressure and then lifting up and then pressing, pressing down and up. This is all part of the art of calligraphy. And after doing this for a while, we come to feel that inside. Any questions? <laughs>